let's go over crude oil. All right, what we do, guys and gals, is the first order of business when we trade any market whatsoever is we look at the trend of the market. The market can only do two things. Whatever market you trade, it doesn't matter if you trade crude oil, gold, S&P 500, stocks, currency, whatever. There's three different market profiles we use with overall trend direction. We use a trend builder to let us know what direction we sell and buy retracements with. We have a Magenta MA right here. Magenta MA, if it's angled down, we are selling retracements. I highlighted these three levels, the big red thick line, the big blue thick line, the big green thick line. These are levels of importance where we need to buy and sell based upon high probability trades. What I said today when I got on the microphone, we're looking for a break retest of LVA or the control or the HVA with negative market delta. So what we're going to do is, is the natural trade, if the trend is down, if we're angled down, it's an ABC short we're looking for or a one, two, three pattern. It's a break. It's a retest. Once it retests, we're going to look to go short within a couple ticks of that retest. That is what's called an ABC pattern or a one, two, three pattern. Some traders call it a continuation pattern. If you go to the website, daytradingthefutures.com, pull up that video on the front page and play it, and it's exact same setups. Setup, I went over and over again with you. The trend was down, trend is down, we are down. What I said to the traders, I'm looking for a break, retest short. Now, what you can do, is trade off these big solid lines. That's the most important. The blue line is a control point. That's the most volume that's traded in this session. I don't use a standard market profile, 30 minute market profile. A lot of retail traders use that. I don't find it works. It works very well. I don't use a VWAP. I don't find it works very well. I use standard volume profile, but I use a certain time frame. I have a longer term institutional time frame I use, and it will typically call these markets at these inflection points for reversal points. So what we want to do as traders then is we want to look at if we're if we are looking at a downtrending market, if we're downtrending, right? If we're in a downtrending market, what I want to try to do then is I want to look at selling retracements to the control point or the HVA, or if the market's too weak, let it break low value area, let it retest low value area. And then you want to get a negative market delta, and I'm going to show you a better technique than that if it's a shallow retracement. But that's your standard way to do it. You'll use these two charts to trade off of like this on most all your setups right across the board. You'll use these three levels, low value area, control point, which is the blue most volume level that's traded, and the high value area to trade off of. Then what you'll use is you'll use once it breaks and it retests within two, maximum three ticks, it's got to be within two to three ticks of this LVA. You look for a negative market delta. It was negative 49. And that's how you standard, that's how you trade these three levels. My most important levels are my volume profiles. Now, you will see that I have dots that pop up. These are more price-based profiles. These are price-based profiles. They're not as important as my volume profiles. You'll notice on all my videos, over 300 plus videos now we're working on, is that these levels will call the inflection points on all these different markets. Why? It takes all the volume from the hedge funds, the prop firms, it takes the retail traders, amateur traders, banks, institutional traders, all the algorithms, and it spits out this solid green line, solid blue line, solid red line. My methodology states this. These are the most important lines that you want to trade off of, period. If you break, retest these lines with trend, you look for a negative market delta to fire you in the trade. You put your stop loss two ticks above the swing high. There's your stop. Your target's going to be the first push of 10 to 12 ticks, usually the first set of symmetry dots, and then the second set of symmetry dots, which is just hit at 70, you're good to go. So that fill on that trade using negative market delta would be 5304. So we just had over a $300 trade on that setup, and we risked 70 bucks. And I'll show you how we risked 70 bucks instead of 130 bucks. When you use market delta, 
with my Rako bar, you're typically going to risk 130 bucks for one contract on a move like this. I was telling traders to get in with another signal, and that's my momentum bar right next door, right next to it right here. What I was saying was, was that since it's a shallow retracement of a 38% retracement, I typically like 50% retracements, you can enter, you can enter the trade at the first red bar reversal. This is a momentum bar. So at that first red bar reversal, you can open the candle up. That got your fill at 5306 to 5305, depending on slippage. So you're a short 5305 on a momentum bar here. If it turns green, any one of these momentum bars turn green after you get in, going to your first target, you take a small profit or a small loss on shallow retracements if it's a 38% retracement. Okay? What I'm saying is, when I'm saying 38% retracement, the prior leg was here. That was the low. I said, we're looking for a retracement short. Here would be a 38% retracement if it hit our LVA. So I said, if it hits the LVA, you can jump in using the momentum bar. It gives you less risk because if you get in at 5305 and it turns green the next bar, you're probably going to risk around $70 per one contract average. So you risk $70 per one contract on over a $330 trade that's running right now. You risk 70 bucks because it was a shallow retracement and you take less risk using this momentum indicator right here. If it is a standard retracement of over 50% into one of these three levels, I just standardly, I standard way to get in is market profile. Okay, so we just jump in under market profile, negative 499. That showed there was a major sell imbalance at the key LVA retracement of 5311. That tells me that I can enter the trade at the opening of the next bar. My stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. And look how beautiful negative market Dell brought it down. And look how beautiful my momentum bar brought it down. And this is a trade that we stopped all morning. We were patient. We waited. We had no other trade signals that came up. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. You must trade if you're going to trade my methodology. You must let these three levels set the market up. Solid green, solid blue, solid red. Remember, I do not profile the entire session. I only profile a certain amount of times during the day these longer-term institutional profiles. And that's why they're so accurate. Some days they'll stop the market to the exact tick. We've seen that yesterday. So you just have to make sure you use market delta with market profile. Market profile sets the trade up with trend direction. And then market delta will fire you in with an order imbalance. I do use, do use the momentum bar. Now, our trade setup, our normal trade setup is this. Let's look at this white chart versus the black, and I'll shut this off. Let's look how, how these charts really do well together. I have three charts, and this is my standard setup on all markets that I, that I look at. And this works on all futures, all stocks, all currency. And so when you're trading Forex, it works really good on the J signal. But if you notice, let's go to the white chart. When's the best time? Do you trade every single Fibonacci retracement, these dots, on the white chart? Absolutely not. You do not trade every single white, uh, every blue and red Fib dot. The best ones are when the market breaks below. I have what's called developing profile. I got HVA in red, LVA in green. So what I want it to do, I want price to break below LVA. If it breaks below LVA, the price is now weakened. I'll look for the first retracement and take the first Fibonacci dot short with negative market delta. That right there is an area to short on the first retracement because this set it up. It broke through LVA with trend. That means the market's really weak. This trade set up that caught the big move down. This is over, what, an $800 trade, almost an $800 trade with $130 risk. If you look at this one, that set the trade up. It broke below low value area. Here's the first retracement, negative market delta, and there you go. That fire the trade short. That's how you use the white chart. The white chart can be used with my developing profiles on the first break retest. 
but I really like them when my Fibonacci dots coincide with my black chart retracement on LVA. Because what we do, it's a very simple methodology. When you first log in, the market can only do two things. Either I am trending up or down, or I'm sideways chopped. Usually trend three and chop two in these markets. You gotta know how to trade both. If you haven't played my video, trend versus chop at day trading the futures, play my last video. I'll show you how to trade a trend trend day like today. Like I just stocked this trade for traders and we nailed it. We stocked this trade for almost what a half hour, and it hit exactly where we want, wanted to, and it went down. Or chop market. I'll show you how to trade that also. So go to day trading the futures, get on there, play chop versus trend. But if it's trending, if this if this longer MA is down, I don't use moving averages for support and resistance. You can't do it. No one knows if you're going to stop at the 200 or the 50 or the 34 EMA or the simple or the 20. You got to use them for trend direction though. We use market profile because moving averages are not the internals of the market. They're lagging. Stochastics lagging. The moving average convergence divergence lagging. This is leading. This market profile, this blue line that comes up, that's the most volume that's traded in that instrument. And it projects this little, it spits out this little green line for us, a low value area. So when the low value area is broken, it catches all those wrongly positioned traders in the market. We'll look for the natural retest rotation back up. We'll look for a negative market delta. And then we'll fire ourselves in the trade with limited risk. If you're scaling out on runners, here's the best way to do it. If you got short at this level up here on the first one, first Fibonacci retracement, you would scale 50% on the first push and put your stop, I mean, put your target two ticks above symmetry dots. A lot of traders do the first 10 to 12 ticks. You would scale 75% at the second set of symmetry dots. Second set, and then the third set, you can try to let the runner run, and the third set, you can bail the entire position. Use the symmetry dots to scale contracts and opposite side market profiles. But that's what we do. I could just take this chart alone before I shut this off. I could take this chart alone and just trade off these solid blue, green, and red lines with market delta, just this alone, and do very well in the market all by itself. I can only trade just these two charts. Market delta will give me the sell and buy and balance at the key level in a retest. Because if I'm in a downtrend, the market, I'm looking for this. The market can only do this. It can, if, when I'm in the middle right here, right, the market can come back up and test the control point and go down. Here's what you look for. The market can come back up and test the HVA and go down. So what I'm going to try to do, I know those are my only levels I want to trade off of. So what I'm going to do is a second to find out where to look for a buy and sell. So when I told traders look for a break retest of LVA, it took me a nano of a second to spit it out because that's how easy it is to find these levels. You look at the solid blue, green, and red line. Those are my three levels of interest. If I'm in a downtrend, I rally to HVA and get negative market delta. I rally to the control point, break retest the control point, negative market delta. Or if the market is way too weak like this morning, then I just break through LVA, I retest it, negative market delta. Okay? You never buy LVA in a downtrend. You let it break, retest, then you go short. That's how we catch all these retail or wrongly positioned traders. And that's why this works so well. It's been working since 1985. Same levels. Price, volume since 1994. Let the solid line set it up. If the dotted lines of price profile overlaps them, so be it. You got confluence. But let your solid set it up. That's what you want to do. Okay? Now, the white chart, we'll use that, the J signal chart, for confluence. If I got a break outside of my developing profile and I get Fibonacci dots firing off exactly at the retest of my LVA, that's confluence. And 
you don't have to use market delta every time to get in because I got a Rinko bar that's a long enough Rinko bar to get in at the red reversal bar right there. Your stop loss is right around 70 bucks if it turned green. If you're in a second test trade on these levels, second test of the area, use this entry technique. If you're in a shallow retracement, like I told traders before it happened, we were down here and I said, if we come back up to this level, I circled it, you can wait for a first red bar reversal and that's your entry. Sure enough, nailed it. It's a good one. So we can use, the, we use these two charts to set it up and then we use the market delta to fire cent. And that's all we do, all right? If you haven't got experience with market profile, you don't need to go out and read thousands and thousands of pages on how to trade market profile about the different nodes and the bell curve and the distribution and all that. Just go to daytradingthefutures.com. I put it in layman's terms for you. I did all the hard work by programming this thing. All right, read the PDF and you'll see, I got tons of examples like this. Play the videos under our archive. It's just, that's a rhythm of the market. It's the order flow. This is an electronically traded market, and that's how we trade it. Okay, Gerald, good, and shut that off.